Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. Today is obviously Monday and I've had kind of like a productive morning, but it's kind of like the really random little small things that I've been putting off for so long. I finally knocked it off on my to-do list. And one of the big things that I wanted to do was to sign up for TSA pre-check. We're going to Italy in April and I purchased clear um, like sometime at the end of the last year. And then of course, after I purchased clear, the two airports that I went to after that did not have clear. And I was like, what was the point of doing that? I just thought everyone had clear. So I was thinking maybe I should just sign up for TSA pre-check. And then at the beginning of this year, I switched my business card over to the Chase Southwest card. I had a Bank of America credit card that I didn't really like because I feel like I just wasn't seeing any of the perks or just like there's so many other credit cards that are better one of the perks from this credit card was a credit for tsa pre-check so i was like okay we have to do it before april so our appointment is on march 8th i think it's like in what two weeks one week so hopefully we get approved i don't think i've ever really heard anyone not getting approved but I don't know, I've never really done this before. In just a couple minutes, we're gonna go meet someone off of Rover because we are actually taking a road trip. I feel like I didn't even mention this this whole time, but we're gonna do a road trip, go down to Big Bend, see White Sands, hit up Marfa probably, and do that whole like, is it West Texas? I, I think so, West Texas road trip. We might leave on a Wednesday or a Thursday and like come back on a Monday or Sunday. Our favorite dog sitter is not gonna be in town, which is so sad because we've, actually went back to her like multiple times just because I feel like Sophie's really comfortable there and she likes Sophie and it's like a good situation so now we have to find someone else to pet sitter for this time and this guy's like ten dollars cheaper so hopefully it works out because then I can use him when we go to Italy for two freaking weeks and that will definitely cut costs down if I can save like $10 every single day. So I'm really, really hoping it goes well. I know he has cats, but Sophie stayed at Ryan's house like for months at a time and they have cats and dogs there. She just kind of like does her own thing and just doesn't really like, like hang around the cats. Well, I feel like cats don't really hang around dogs, but I don't know. I've never had a cat before, so I can't really talk. So anyways, hoping that goes well, and we're going to meet him somewhere in East Austin. You ready for your play date? Not a play date with a dog. Don't worry. It's a human. How do you feel, Sophie? Are you excited? Are you excited to meet a new friend? We're meeting him at the Yellow Jacket Social House. I've never heard of this in my life. Never even seen it. It's definitely hidden, but it's kind of cool. I looked online, and I was like... The food and drinks like actually look really good. I didn't get any clips, but meeting the guy on River went really well. Tonight we have an early reservation for this place called Sway. I've heard so many good things about it when I first moved here to Austin, but then all of a sudden I didn't hear anything about it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they're like reopening, so maybe they have been closed since COVID. I'm not really sure. But tonight they're doing like half off yesterday and today so i was like hell yeah i'm gonna make a reservation so we got in and we we're gonna try it for the first time today hopefully it's really good and lives up to the hype um but i want to wear maybe a dress because ryan just came from a run and he said it was really hot outside so maybe like a little spring dress here's the outfit of the night i freaking love this dress i just love the silhouette very like not my style because it's all pinky and ruffly but i just think it's so cute and then i have my shoes from dolce vita morning happy tuesday i feel like i didn't really vlog that much yesterday and honestly today is going to be the same exact way because i am putting my mind to it i'm finishing my taxes today and i don't want to talk about them ever again 
just kidding because I really have to and I really hate it. <laughs> I swear my mom talks about my taxes like every single time we talk and I'm very, very grateful for her help. Like so grateful because I don't know what I would do without her. We had a CPA last tax season and he finally decided to retire. So now I think my mom's just gonna help me or we might find someone, I don't know what's going on, but I just know that I need to get all the taxes done before grad season because it's literally starting next week and I know I'm gonna be so overwhelmed with that and just not have time for like anything else. So I really need to get that done today. So I'm telling myself that I'm not gonna put on any makeup or film any TikToks or do anything else before I do my taxes. So if you've been watching the past weekly vlogs, you would know that I put up curtains recently and I've ordered like five curtains because everyone just had some kind of issue with them and so the last curtains I got were finally long enough they were like the perfect length but they had these metal things up here let me show you you see those things I just like don't love them so the only other ones that were long enough and that were not too sheer and that didn't have those metal ones were $84 for one panel and I was like damn it so that was kind of annoying but I'm gonna put them up and see if I like them if I don't I can just keep the metal ones but honestly the metal just isn't a vibe and I hope these are the last curtains I had to order <laughs> This is what it looks like, and I think it's a lot better than the metal ones, so I think we're good. It's currently 8.45, and I'm still waking up at 6 a.m., and yesterday and today I did five miles on the treadmill. My New Balance shoes are not here just yet, but they are coming tonight, and of course, like, my blisters aren't really bothering me anymore, but I still kind of want to try them out and see what they look like on, just even for, like, an athleisure look. I feel like they're really cool, um, and now I'm going to just cook some breakfast because I'm getting a little hungry, and I am going to be using my caraway pans for the first time. I don't know why I haven't really cooked much in the past week since I've gotten them, or, like, we've just used the air fryer or just have been eating out. I'm going to make eggs so we can kind of test out the non-stick. It's 1 p.m. and I've been slowly eating my lunch. These are leftovers from yesterday's dinner. We ended up ordering so much. We love just trying every little food out so that next time we go, we know what we like. But our eyes were definitely bigger than our stomachs yesterday because we were so full. So we took the Masamon curry home and honestly, it was one of my favorite dishes. I am so happy to say that I am almost done with all this tax stuff that I have to organize. At least I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Um, basically, I was just trying trying to like go through all my expenses and seeing what was a write-off and what wasn't. Right now I'm just going through all my Venmos because we have to differentiate if it is a business payment or a personal payment because I don't want to get taxed on like, you know, just Ryan paying me back for 
his coffee or dinner because <laughs> that would suck um so yeah just doing that right now and then i'm going to calculate the square footage of this office i'm getting comfortable so we can talk about taxes and everything um I'm not a professional though, so like honestly I could be saying it totally wrong, but basically my understanding is that you can write off the rent you pay for just this office. Since we have a two bedroom, obviously I wouldn't write off the whole apartment since the bed space isn't for working really, even though like I film in the whole apartment. But this is my office, so I'm going to take the square footage of the whole apartment and then figure out what the square footage of this... No, okay, wait. I'm going to take our rent, divide it by the square footage of the whole apartment, take the, this square footage, and then t like multiply the rent per square footage together. That's what it, that's what it is, yeah. So I'm going to do that after this. And then I think I'm done, thank God. I feel like I need to start doing my taxes quarterly so that it's not one like big dreadful thing at the end of the year. I feel like that would just be a little bit better. But I really want to find like a CPA that knows what they're doing with like different streams of income and just like the whole influencer space because my last CPA said that I couldn't write off makeup or something I think he said because that's like something you use daily not at work so it has to be like only used at work but I make videos about the makeup that I use so I don't know there's so many like almost loopholes I don't even know what to call them but that's why I need someone that actually knows what the hell they're doing because I do not want there to be any issues in the future like that is my biggest fear so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just doing everything in Excel and I am not good at Excel I never took any classes on it in college I mean I was a radio television major so I don't think we really would have had to learn Excel but now I regret not having a class like that like even if I took like a business class I actually don't really know what class that you would have to take to learn it but basically Brian is like really really good at Excel I feel like I would be so much more organized if I knew what the hell I was doing in Excel last time I wanted to make some like organizational chart in Excel I asked Ryan's help to do like the drop down menu and now I use that for everything and I think it's just so cool that you can like do a little drop down menu so that's the only thing I really know how to do in Excel so I'm gonna get back to working and finish up my lunch and then I know Ryan's playing golf later tonight so I'm not really sure what I'll do probably like just edit TikToks I have so many videos on my iPhone that are just sitting there because I filmed it in my actual camera app and not like TikTok and sometimes it just like takes me so much longer to edit them when they're just in the camera app because I kind of forget um and then you have to like find the trending sounds and everything like that but for my productions page for my photography page on instagram i'm starting to do more reels which means that i have to remember to take like iphone videos during my photo shoots and honestly they just go by so quickly and i'm so focused on obviously shooting my client that i forget to film you know a couple videos here and there but when i do it's really fun to make those reels because i feel like they do pretty well but grad season is right around the corner so I'll be able to get a lot of content then so excited and just feel really relieved I told my mom I was like it feels like I just walked out of the SAT like I'm a free woman now although she hasn't really checked everything so there might be like little things I have to do but for the majority 
I did my part and I'm very excited about it. But I just took Sophie out. We played ball with her. Just wanted to get her a little bit tired because I am going on a walk with my friends later on. It is so nice outside, so I could not pass the opportunity to get outside up. But I didn't want to bring her because we're going to go on the Ladybird Lake Trail. And she literally stops every single freaking 30 seconds because she's like sniffing all the pee along the trail. And so I was like, I don't really want to make like them wait for me and Sophie to like get done sniffing so I made it up to her and took her out before but right now I'm gonna do some juicing I've had these oranges sitting out for so long now and I was like okay today's the day we're gonna get this fruit juiced and plus I can use my new Ikea like bottles that I got um I did a weekend vlog on them I thought that was in this vlog but it's not so we got some oranges navel oranges a little bit of ginger because usually I put a lot and it's just like a little too gingery and I want it to be definitely more orangey but we have a lot of pineapple and then just one tiny lemon so let's get to juicing like all of the ingredients and then I forgot that I had extra that wouldn't fit in the hopper so this one just has pineapple and orange but it is so fun juicing honestly I'm gonna put these in the fridge first I'm just gonna do a little bit of a cleanup but honestly the cleanup on this juicer is so much easier than the juicers I've used previously you just one click that then this can be washed you just wash the hopper okay this is gonna sound a little complicated but I swear it's not you just try take apart all of these um, in there wash those you can actually get all the pulp out of this because I feel like juicers are never actually that clean but every time I juice this one it's really clean <laughs> This sink is so powerful sometimes, like I always forget and I put it on the high mode where it just like splats all up in my face. It's so annoying, so gotta remember to be gentle with this faucet. But I do appreciate that this sink does not have a divider because our other kitchen did and it just makes washing dishes so much more difficult. I'm sorry, I'm like talking to you guys while I'm doing dishes, but kind of just felt chatty, you know? Sometimes when Ryan's not home, I just like want to talk to someone. Also, I'm really annoyed at myself because I thought doing these like taxes and expenses and all this stuff was going to take so much longer. Like I thought it was going to take days and lo and behold, I finished it in just like a couple hours. I mean, maybe like maybe five hours or something. I don't know, but... I just wish I got it done earlier because it's been something that has been on my to-do list and I've been dreading it, you know? And another thing on my to-do list that I've been dreading is getting my Texas license. The DMV is hell on earth because the people in there are just so rude and condescending and I honestly just don't want to deal with that. Like if they were nicer, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad situation. Also, there's always like a long line. So that's another thing on my to-do list. And yesterday, Ryan and I filled out the TSA pre-check form on the website. So we made an appointment to go in to get TSA pre-check um, on March 8th, I think. So very excited to get that checked off my to-do list and uh, to actually get TSA pre-check um, because I have clear right now, but Wait, I think I talked about this to you guys. I'm not sure. Honestly, all these days are a blur. Also, it comes with one of these so you can get the pulp out. 
if there's like hard to reach areas, which honestly there's not. It's just this one little thing always needs some help. Also, it probably looks like it's hard to clean and like takes a long time, but I'm just going slow because I'm talking to you guys. But it's actually really easy to clean. Whenever I'm at the grocery store and I see like a green juice, I'm like, you know what? I can make that at home. I'm not going to get this $8 green juice because I feel like all those ingredients what I get um, pineapple lemon ginger what's that other thing oh oranges it's like definitely under ten dollars I would hope and it made like more than two juices that was it yeah I pretty much cleaned the whole juicer maybe just like a paper towel on this part now I just need to wipe off this board getting ready to leave for the walk with my friends and I'm gonna switch my purse. I haven't worn this in a while and I used to love this thing. This is actually what inspired me to get my Marc Jacobs bag because it's kind of like a fanny pack. I'm gonna bring my car keys, probably my wallet and then chapstick. What else do I need? Can't think of anything. Um, don't know if this is too much green, but I don't really care. And I probably need to wear sunscreen. I told Ryan he needs to start wearing sunscreen because he like plays golf every single day. And you know, obviously you're probably not gonna see the like results of it or just like the outcome of it um, right then and there. But I want us to be as non-wrinkly older human beings as we can possibly be. So let me go get my sunscreen. The packaging is so dirty. <laughs> it's all my makeup gets all over it, but I'm gonna be using the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And I've actually recently tried the Glow Screen again. I bought it like during a Sephora sale just cause everyone was hyping it up. And at first I didn't really like it cause I think I tried it during the summertime. And I was like, well, I don't really wanna be even more glowy and like, like look sweaty when I'm already sweating so much. So the unseen sunscreen is like my go-to for like putting on makeup under, but I just started putting the glow screen under my makeup and I actually really like it. And I like it on days where I'm not wearing makeup because it just gives you that glow, obviously, like I said, but I'll probably have to stop using it because summer is coming. I was so obsessed with this hat when I got it because I was like super into trucker hats at the time. Honestly, still am. Like I just bought that Teddy, Teddy trucker hat like a couple vlogs ago. They're like my favorite kind of hats. I don't know why. They're just like loose fitting and more comfortable than like a normal ball cap. But I've never worn this, I don't think, which is weird because I feel like it just never goes with outfits, but I just really don't care <laughs> what goes with what right now because I'm just going on a walk. So got my Apple watch on and I'm really proud of myself because usually I'd be like, I already worked out today. Like I don't want to work out again, but I really want to get outside and just get some fresh air. Like I said before, I just feel relieved and I want to just like be active and be with my friends. So we're going to go drive over to my friend's house because she like lives on the river trail and I'm going to park there and then I'll film some clips on my phone.
Happy Wednesday. My hair is a grease ball. I feel like ever since I've been just working out a lot more, it's just been not easy to get through to Friday because I usually wash my hair only on Mondays and Fridays, but when we get home, I will work my magic and it'll be fine. Just got to my lash lift appointment. I'm trying out Pink Lady Lash. They're in like the hill country, um, but these are my lashes right now. They're pretty long because I've been using Grande Lash Serum and I really think it's helping. I actually started it the last time I got my lash lift. So they were like really curled, but they were like growing, you know, and I've been using it like pretty consistently. Sometimes I will forget a night, but overall I feel like it's really been helping so I'm really excited to see the results from this lash lift with like all the growth on my eyelashes from the serum it's 10 56 appointments at 10 and I'm gonna head in here's the after I don't know if you can really tell because my eyelashes like they're not that full they're really long but they're not full so if I don't have mascara on you can't really tell i don't know but when i do have mascara on it is crazy long especially with the lash lift so i'm very excited that i got that and again i got it done at pink lady lash here in austin texas so definitely go check them out i came home and i just washed the top of my head in the sink because first of all it was greasy and second of all okay this is gonna sound a little dmi but like when i was little i used to have really bad well first i had lice and then after that i had dandruff for like I feel like it was years just because it was like so terrible and I was like suffering. It was just horrible. But when I had lice, I then developed like this really, really dry scalp and like I would like get scabs on my scalp and I would like itch them off and it was just like a whole cycle of that whole shit. So I have been feeling like that scabby type thing and I looked today and my like hairline was so dry. It was so flaky and so dry and... I don't know what's going on. I mean, obviously it's cold here in Austin, so maybe that's why, but I haven't had like that scabby stuff in years. So I really got scared. I knew I had this like medicated like dandruff shampoo. So I was like on the hunt for it. Thank God I found it. And I had to like smack it out because there's like little left and it's so thick that I was like dripping like so slow down the bottle, but I finally got some out. So I just put it right here and I already feel 1,000 times better, so I hope it like healed it. That would be nice. So I'm probably just gonna curl my hair for tonight. We are going to Cirque du Soleil. I don't think I even said that in this vlog, but I got invited and I am so hyped because I was thinking like, I think it was like a month ago, I was like, Ryan, we should go to the circus one day. And maybe that was just me manifesting it. It's at the HEB Center, which I've never been to. I think it's in Cedar Park, if I'm thinking correctly, um, but I'll update you guys tonight. But it's like this Bugs show. And I have like this fear of ants. Basically when I see any type of ants, I start to itch and I am just get so irritable and just so itchy. And that is because when I was in Girl Scouts, we were playing Red Rover. It's just like a game outside where you like run to the other side. That's pretty much it. But basically I stepped in a red ant pile and I didn't know. And then like a few minutes later, I felt like just so many things. Oh my God, I'm literally starting to get itchy. It like makes me wanna throw up. Basically, they were on me. That's all I have to say. I literally had to pull down my pants and they were on me. I'm getting the chills. I, it's so traumatic. And this happened when I was like, I don't know, like maybe first grade or something, but that is why I hate ants so much. Even if I hear the word, I just get so like, no, please stop talking. So I'm gonna stop talking about it. But anyways, it's about bugs, this uh, Cirque du Soleil show. So I'm really hoping that A word is not one of the bugs that they show, but it probably is. So I'll just have to close my eyes. I just finished up lunch. I just got like some pre-made thing from HEB. And now I'm gonna edit my vlog. I actually have to make some edits on a brand TikTok. Gonna send that and then I'm gonna edit my vlog. So I did the thing again where I started editing the video on the day that I'm supposed to post it. I probably shouldn't have done that because my SD card reader literally just broke like as it was importing my footage. So we're gonna take a little trip to Best Buy and also don't mind the ointment. I am slugging midday because 
I want my makeup to look really good tonight. My toxic trait is wanting Starbucks every time we go to Mueller because their Starbucks is infinitely better than anywhere else's. The worst part about it though is that they don't have a drive through so we have to like go inside and order and get it, which like I don't so mind funny. usually, but today it is just so cold outside. I do not want to get out of the car. I got a cookie crumble. I got an ice white mocha decaf oat milk. What? Uh, one of the unicorn drink they're out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and Sophie did not get a pop cup. It's 31 degrees. Yesterday it was like 80. Mm -hmm. what the hell? 85. 85. But sunscreen on me, like, always great. Yeah. <laughs> Can I use a straw or can you? What? What? I tried to accept you to HEV now. I was in the car and I got the size of jumping and scared the shit out of me. Scaring people. <laughs> a kid in a candy store with this frappuccino. He loves these Big Macs. Every week he's like, Snowy, we should get one. <laughs> yeah, because it was a dinosaur. We got back, I imported the footage, and then I edited like majority of it, but I just don't have time to do the whole bit, like, you know, do the thumbnail, put the music in, add the iPhone clips in. So I'm just gonna publish it tomorrow, which sucks because I will be missing my Wednesday post date, but that's fine. I'd rather have quality over quickness I guess um but I don't know if you guys can tell I did a little side part action Not Ryan side what I don't think it's side enough. you need it to be more side yeah. parted this is really side parted sure? yes Ryan says he likes my side part or was it the other side I can't even remember it's what like flat. Like, I like when it's kind of like all my okay well that's like my natural like yeah it looks good no, I'm saying, like, that's with my natural hair. Like, not straight hair. He says he likes my side part, so I tried something different tonight. But we need to leave soon because the venue for Cirque du Soleil is in Cedar Park, which is, like, 33 minutes away the last time I checked. But that was not during, what's it called, rush hour. So, also, we need to eat. Do you want to get dinner somewhere? Before or after? Before, probably. I know they'll have like concession stand stuff, but I feel like I'd probably want like dinner dinner. We could go to McDonald's and get a McChicken again. <laughs> that was a good McChicken. Wait, can we get that? No. Why? Should we go should we go to Spicy Boys? Do we have time? <laughs> Here are my lashes with mascara on, no eyeliner. They look amazing i do like this place a little bit better because they said that you can like customize how curly you want it how straight you want it um and they sealed my lashes so i could actually get them wet even if it was like you know within the 24 hours because the last place i couldn't get them wet for 24 hours so this place is definitely a winner it was pink lady lash once again the side part is already driving me nuts i'm definitely gonna bring a scrunchie because i feel like i'm just gonna be so annoyed with it but we did order spicy boys so we got a fried chicken and some tater tots we'll probably just eat it in the car on the way to the venue and i did change my outfit i love this sweater so much. I think it's from Misguided or Nasty. I'll try to link it down below. I keep getting those two confused because I made two really big orders from both of their sites at the same time. So I keep getting them confused. But if I had to guess, I feel like it would have been Nasty Gal. I love a nude sweater. There's this other one that I bought from TJ Maxx like years ago. And I still wear so much in the winter time because I feel like they're just like a good staple. And I'm wearing this like heat tech amazon long sleeve i don't know if i'm gonna regret this in the actual theater but if i'm really hot i guess i could go to the bathroom and like take it off and just put it in my purse also i had to change my purse out because the whole clear bag policy
Hey y'all, happy Thursday. Today's been just like so weird. Just like a lot of things, but you know, mainly the whole thing with Ukraine and Russia is happening right now. And I literally opened my phone up and this was at like 5.55 a.m. Yes, the first thing I do is open my phone up. I should probably work on that. But the first thing I saw was someone's Instagram story of like the bomb going off. And that literally like instantly put me in like a really, really weird funky mood. And I just, I don't know. I was like, I honestly don't even like know how to help. Like it's almost like this feeling where you're like seeing all this going on, but you feel so helpless and... It's just, you know, like a really just heavy feeling, I guess, is what I'm trying to explain. Honestly, I probably should have gotten ready to like feel better about myself because that didn't really help it. Um, today I was supposed to meet up with a photographer and have like a little coffee date. I was really looking forward to it, but yesterday she canceled because it was just like going to be really too cold and rainy and stuff. And I was like, totally get it, girl. Like, I don't really want to go outside my house either. But we were forced to because our TV like randomly just stopped working out of nowhere and we've had it for two and a half years and I'm not really sure like what the lifespan on a TV is to be honest but I was really upset because that was one of my first big girl purchases like I bought the TV and the couch and I was like I want a smart TV and a white couch and those are like my two non-negotiables and I saved for them and everything like I was really proud of those big purchases when I got out of college and so to see it's like broken after two and a half years I'm like are you kidding me like we love that TV it's just like a TLC like Roku nothing like fancy but the fact that it has Roku and just like all the streaming apps I mean I feel like every TV pretty much is like a smart TV now but we love that TV and yeah just broke because our key fobs I think stopped working yesterday morning and I was like locked out of the gym and then I was like locked out of the whole entire apartment because I was taking Sophie out and it was just like a shit show so I don't know if like the power went out or what was the issue where like the fuse went out we think that had something to do with our TV being broken or not powering on so we took it to a TV repair place which Honestly, I didn't really even know existed. It's crazy because like we live in a city that there are like just multiple around you that you're just like Who even uses a TV repair place? But like damn like now I do <laughs> like it's just weird um, But we found this place they said it would cost around like under $300 I was this close to being like, Ryan, like maybe we should just get a frame TV like I'm such an impulsive buyer and like he always stops me. He's definitely like the person that's like, you're just being crazy right now. Like just, we need to figure this out, like chill out. We can like find something else. And I'm just like, no, I want the frame TV. Like, I'll be honest, I'm very influenced by what I see on the internet and like what people have. And you know, that's just like how it is. And so I see all these people with their frame TVs and they are really cool that like, they can like literally just look like art pieces. And anyways, so I was like, no, I'm gonna order one right now. And he was like, no, seriously, you're gonna be so stupid if you do. So we started calling around to TV repair places and that's when we found out it was gonna be under $300 because we were just gonna buy like a whole new TV, just not the frame TV, just so it wouldn't be that expensive. But then he was like looking at other TVs, which I don't even know what kind of TVs he was looking at, but they were still really expensive. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that TV that we got, it was like a, I wanna say like 65 inch was maybe like under 800 or something and i thought that was expensive and i was seeing all these tvs that are like two thousand dollars i'm like what when did this happen i mean i guess inflation <laughs> but still that's crazy anyways so yeah the tv broke we had just dropped it off and then we came home and we're getting a little hungry and we're just like in this weird in-between period because um well, we were supposed to go on a road trip. I don't know if it's happening still because now, like, people are expecting gas prices to rise. So we're not sure if we should go. And we haven't really booked anything yet. But I've been telling myself, like, I wanted to do this, like, Texas road trip for a long time. And I feel like if I don't do it now, it's never going to happen. Um, but anyway, so we didn't buy groceries because we were just, like, eating leftover things in the fridge and you know when that happens like when you don't buy groceries you always just end up eating out it's so annoying so yeah we might get sushi tonight because that sounds really good other than our tv getting dropped off at the repair place um i can't even remember what i did today but i feel like we did a lot oh i dropped off clothes at 
um, Uptown Cheapskate. I got $57 for 13 things. Probably nowhere near what I paid for, but you know, that's just how it is. I get DMs sometimes asking me if I have a Poshmark or a Depop or anything like that. And honestly, I tried Poshmark a while back, like in college, and it just sat in my closet for so long. And it was just so annoying because I really wanted to get rid of it like right then and there. Maybe in the future I'll start doing it, but it's just so much effort like titling it, describing it, taking the pictures and everything. Then I finished up editing my vlog that was supposed to go up yesterday. I swear I did more than that. I just literally cannot remember. I think I edited some TikToks, but now I'm going to go through, well, I already started typing it out, but I'm just giving some feedback on my, what's it called? Oh my gosh. My, my rebrand stuff, like the brand carry all and stuff. Um, I just have a couple things to send over to her to get it like finalized. You guys have noticed that my font has changed. That's like the only thing I really have changed so far. Um, but yeah, that's really exciting. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I have a call with a girl and we were supposed to go to sushi at like 5.45. Shit. So I just got off that call that I was talking about and it went so freaking well. And it's with someone that might be able to help me in the future just like with like tasks and stuff and I don't know I just feel like I need help in general and my goal this year was to you know hire out and just like delegate and take a little bit off my plate and just you know get some help I still have not found a video editor so I'm definitely still looking for that but we are headed out to get some sushi Happy Friday. I actually left my camera in the car last night, so it's kind of frozen. Like, I think it's like foggy or something. This morning I worked out, did my five miles, so I completed five days of five miles, and I'm so proud of myself. I'm definitely very sore today out of all the days. My back's kind of hurting. I don't even know. My ankles are starting to hurt. I haven't gotten shin splints since I started though, so that's good. Now I'm at Better Half, I'm going to go into a coffee date with a new friend. I'm currently sitting in the parking lot of Better Half. I have like a coffee date with a new friend in a couple of minutes. And today is definitely going to be a chill day. I really don't have much to do except for edit my vlog and figure some other things out, which I'm really excited about. Um, but also, I think the mirror is coming today. I don't know. I rescheduled it for like tomorrow but now it says like it's coming today so i'm so confused but hopefully it shows up today okay guys this is the best try i've ever tried this is andy by the way Hi. wait what did you get i got an iced vanilla latte with so so good fun on our coffee date that was honestly such good chai and now i kind of want to throw my skinny chai out because i'm realizing it's just not sweet enough for me and life is too short to not have sweet chai if you want it you know so i think i'm gonna try to make my own chai with like the actual concentrate well the skinny chai is still concentrate but you know what i mean like i just want my normal sweet chai when i was at better half i got a call from the ikea delivery people and then they were like hey we're here with your mirror and i was like like, wasn't I supposed to get, like, a, uh, I'm coming text? Like, I'll be there in 15, 30 minutes, you know? No, I didn't get any of that. Actually, I did. After I ended the call two minutes later, I got a text. We're 15 minutes away, and we'll be there in 15 minutes. And I was just like, they're already there. Like, I was just stressing. But luckily, Ryan was home, so he was able to, like, let them in because I did pay for, like, the in-home delivery. The guy was like, babe, I don't know if I told you this, but um, the guy was like, is there anywhere I could just like drop it off? And I was like, um, I think I paid for in-home delivery. And he was like, oh yeah, you did. And I was like, yeah. Now you're trying to get out of it. I paid literally $70, I'm pretty sure, to get it delivered. So here it is. Look how big it is. I'm so freaking excited. So let's unwrap this thing. Also, I'm back in my favorite aloe. I didn't get it dirty. I think I wore it on Monday, but it wasn't dirty, so don't worry.
Hmm? It's huge! Yeah. Fun fact, I hid pillows behind this mirror because this couch is a pullout couch. We've never had anyone come since we've gotten this couch, so no one's actually slept on it yet, but when we do get visitors, we have some pillows back here. Not sure where to put this mirror now. So big. I put this one back because I wanted to show you guys like a size comparison. Look how crazy this is. It's actually a huge difference. This is what it used to be and now I have like this whole big mirror to play with. It's about 4 p.m. and I just finished editing my week in my life vlog so happy about that and I just started getting really really hungry out of nowhere so I think we're gonna go grab some tacos down the street. We were thinking like either a sandwich or a burger but then I was like Tacos just sound really easy, so we're gonna do that. And then tonight, I got invited to, well, at first it was like a pregame, but now she's doing like a game night sort of thing because it's just like too cold to go out. So honestly, that's so much more my vibe right now. When it gets cold outside, I just do not wanna like go outside at all. Um, so I'm very excited about that, but I have to dress cute casual. So I'm gonna have to elevate this aloe set somehow. <laughs> Tonkas and we just ordered tacos and we layered up so that we can wait out here for our tacos but tell him what you get because I only get two of the tacos he's more adventurous I'm saying like I get two different kinds of tacos but I do get three but honestly two of them fills me up like I'll eat like half of the third one and probably give it to you but I get two pastor and one barbacoa because I think the pastor is a little bit better and then what do you get? I get the steak chorizo mix. I guess it's called cappuccino. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I get two pastor and a lingua, which is tongue. Literally just changed into a brown set from my last brown set, but this one has like a hoodie. It's definitely a little bit more like less sweat set -y. I don't know how to describe this texture, but she said cute casual, but honestly, I don't even know what that means anymore because I think sweat sets are cute casual, so I don't know. <laughs> um, hopefully I'm not too underdressed, but we did go to Krispy Kreme because I wanted to get a dozen to take over there. She said don't bring anything, but I felt like bad coming empty handed. So I thought donuts would be fun to bring. I'll add in whatever clips I got on my iPhone. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys are not already subscribed. And also go follow my Instagram to see in real time updates and everything like that. So I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.